outside of the Weston Book Cadillac in what police believe was a targeted attack. Megan Woods has been following the investigation for us this morning. Megan, uh, what do we know? Well, this shooting happened uh, just before midnight and behind me, the crime scene is clearing up, but police still have a lot of work ahead of them. They say four people are in the hospital, but the shooter is still out there. Uh, it could have been about 15, 20 shots. It was real, real rapid, real sound like machines on fire. That's what people living near the Weston Book Cadillac downtown say they heard around 1130 last night. It comes as a shock. The scene speaks for itself. At least 10 bullet holes pierce the windshield and passenger door of this SUV. Yeah, this is very unusual because this hotel ain't, ain't never been on shooting by the uh, Weston Hotel. Never. Detroit police believe the victims were targeted, and it's unclear where they were headed when this all unfolded. We had two vehicles that pulled up near the Westin. At one point, individuals in one vehicle jumped out, started firing at the other vehicle. Four people were shot, two in critical condition, two in stable condition. Youngest being roughly 20 years of age, and the rest of them are, are older, uh, I believe, um, to be in their late 20s, early 30s. Police are also saying there was a fifth person in that SUV. They're hoping that person will come forward and help out with some sort of description of the vehicle or who is the person who pulled the trigger. So if you have any information, you're also asked to call Detroit police. Live in downtown Detroit, I'm Megan. Local Boyer. four showing officers helping injured victims as they hobble to a nearby patrol car after a drive by shooting at the Weston Book Cadillac Hotel in downtown Detroit. Chief White saying the officers applied tourniquets and rushed several victims to the hospital, likely saving at least one life. He says the shooters picked the easiest place for them to get caught. I am confident we're going to make an arrest. That area is filled with cameras. Uh, so if there's any place uh, that they wanted to do it, uh, they're helping the police and making a decision to do it there. This is the latest shooting in downtown Detroit in a stretch of a series of shootings across the city. Even after violent crime in Detroit fell last year, the chief reiterating downtown is safe. In fact, it's even his neighborhood. I still think downtown is safe. I'm, I'm not moving. And, um, uh, you know, but this is a, a, a sad situation and uh, unfortunate situation and a situation where people are using guns to, to solve simple disputes. Everybody's got a gun. And, you know, we, we're going to do what we can to constitutionally get them off the street. And the four men who were injured were in about their ages from 20 to 30 years old. We were told last night by an officer on the scene that there was a fifth person inside that SUV that was shot at that then ran from the scene today. Chief White said they're actually trying to confirm that that fifth person even exists. Now, the other four men were taken to the hospital. A few of them went into surgery. They were brought in in critical condition. The other two in stable condition. All of them, though, are expected to survive. The suspect vehicle, and you're also going to see the victim vehicle. Uh, as it pulls up, and this is, in fact, the victim's, uh, I believe this is the victim's vehicle.